Dudes, what's up? Spincy boy back on MX Bikes. Oh my god, bro, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's been like 69 months, dude. Woo! Share it with your friends, you know, share it with your family. Spincy boy back on MX Bikes. We got world news out here. Okay, so I haven't played this game really since all the way back there like when this 2022 Oakland Supercross track came out and this is why I'm riding on this track in this video okay so just to kind of paint the picture of where we're at here with MX bikes and where we've been you know basically the last time I was really playing it was back when shortly after this track right here came out when it was still beta 17, but then they added some sort of update to the game that made the game a lot harder. If the bikes was sliding out more in the corners, if you guys don't remember, uh, basically like this track right here was pretty easy to get around when it first came out. You know, you could hit the, the big jump over the start straight jumps. You could triple into the rhythms pretty easily. And then they came out with that update that changed a bunch of stuff. And it basically made this track right here impossible. <laughs> like, you just could not get the speed to hit anything. Um, I know they changed something in there where it made the like the uh, the tire slicker feeling, you know, uh, but you just didn't couldn't get the same kind of drive out of the corners and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm riding on this track right here, because I feel like it's a really good gauge of where the game was at back then and kind of comparing to what it is now, now that we've gotten to beta 18. OK, and we're even like beta 8, 18 ABC. I mean, it's like beta you know 18 but there's been like two or three of them uh like smaller updates after the beta 18 but nonetheless basically the reason why i haven't really been making any videos on mx bikes is just because i've been waiting if any of you guys know how mx bikes works basically they will come out with a new beta but then you can't really fully experience the beta until they come out with the community made, you know, beta 18 OEM bike pack. OK, so that's that's what I've been waiting on is that newer OEM bike pack to get the full experience of the new beta. I'm, I'm not really into the game enough to just go in there and like hop on the new beta and, you know, ride on the default slower Poboso bikes in the game. Like I'm just not really interested in doing all that. So. Basically, that, that Beta 18 came out, uh, what was it, like a couple months ago? I can't remember exactly, but then the Beta 18 OEM bike pack, which is the faster bikes and the more updated, you know, the kind of bikes that everybody really rides in the game, um, those came out like, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago. I can't even remember at this point, but... Basically, we just been waiting on them to get the Beta 18 and then the Beta 18 OEM bike pack. Now we can come back in here and start playing the game again and looking at it again. So basically, to prevent boring you to absolute death going in here and talking about the exact patch notes of Beta 18 and all that... I just want to kind of talk about it, how, how the game personally feels different from the way I was playing it, like last year, like around the time that this track came out right here, okay? So, as I was saying, you know, they added that little bit more sliding. There was absolutely, like, but I remember there being an absolute community uproar back whenever that happened. Uh, so, now that we've gotten to Beta 18 and even farther, we've gotten to the Beta 18 OEM bike pack, basically what's happened here is in a roundabout way the game has almost gotten back to being like it was back in before they did that update that made the game a lot harder you know that's pretty much what's happened here and i feel like getting on this 2022 oakland track 
is a good example of that because now you can come in here on the Beta 18 OEM bikes and you can hit just about all the same jumps you would have been hitting back before they did all those updates that caused the bike to slide more. That may just be like the kind of, uh, you know, tires, uh, whatever sort of thing they use with the new OEM bike pack. I'm not really sure what did that, but I know they went in there with Beta 18 and did some like smaller fixes to the physics and different aspects of it and stuff, but just as a whole, um, it's still pretty similar, like it's not so different from the way the bike felt like back in Beta 17 or even a little before, um, like like, you know, before they did all those changes that made the game harder. I mean, I'm still able to use the same sort of setup I was using. I'm still able to get around the tracks. Um, if you haven't played this game for a while, make sure you recalibrate your controller, okay? Just a little quick tip. Spency Boy, a little quick tea sipping tip for you, okay? But that basically, in a nutshell, is what has happened here with, like, since they had beta 17, had the 2022 Oakland track, then they made all those changes that made the game harder. Then they came out beta 18, then the beta 18 OEM bike pack. Okay. Basically what has happened here is the game got harder. You know, the bike slide slid out more. It was harder to hit like the triple ends on this track and the bigger jumps. But now with the changes that they made with Beta 18 and the new Beta 18 OEM bikes, now you can go in there and basically do what you were doing before all that. You know what I mean? Like back whenever this track originally came out. So you guys remember after this track, they had to start like making the track scaling smaller and the jumps smaller and everything got a lot smaller back in 2022 after the after they did those little changes that made the game harder. But now I feel like it's all kind of switched back around to the point to where you could make your track scaling pretty much exactly like you had your Oakland from last year. And you could get around the track again, you know, they, whatever, I don't know exactly everything that's been done to, to give you that kind of feeling, but it, it's kind of in a nutshell, basically like the game is easier again after beta 18 and the beta 18 OEM bikes, it's back to being that kind of MX bikes familiar sort of feeling, you know, the kind of traction out of the corners, the how easy it feels to hit the jumps and get over the whoops and certain stuff like that. And just kind of getting that power out of the corners to be able to really hook like the bigger jumps over the start straight. Basically, it's, I don't know, it sounds kind of crazy, but it's like they went full circle and made the game as easy as it was back like early 2022. You see what I'm saying? It's pretty much what's happened here. Um, so, yeah, and I, I think they uh, added that uh, where you could actually... Uh, pick how much terrain deformation that you wanted on the tracks. I'm pretty sure that was added with Beta 18. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure. Like I say, it's been a long time since I really played this game, so I'm trying to get caught up here. I know a lot of you boys that play this shit like every day, you already know all this, but i got to try to get it all caught back up. That way I can start making content on this game again. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to check out some of the newer 2023 Supercross tracks. I will be going in there and doing that. Don't you worry, your little self, buddy. I'll be going in there and doing it, okay? But, yeah, I mean, it's not... It doesn't feel crazy different to me. Um, like, I know some people are talking about the... It's kind of a little bit harder to whip, or maybe the bike's a little more realistic when you're trying to whip, so it's not as easy to do. I heard some people saying some stuff like that, but, I mean, yeah, the whips feel a little bit different, but, like, as a whole, it's, it's almost like you mixed the way MX bikes felt, you know, back when this Oakland track originally came out. It's like you mix that with the way it felt after they made all those changes that made the game harder. It's like it's somewhere in between those two things now. You know, that's kind of what I would say about it. But 
specifically this Yamaha YZ450 kind of cool looking got the uh got the black sort of monster energy you know plastics and stuff um that was kind of cool to see gives the game kind of a kind of a moderny type feeling to it um but yeah the the bike is fast bro uh the the oem beta 18 oem yz 450 like if you're just on the gas down a straightaway your front wheel will pick up dog i'm talking like you ain't had that much tea you know what i'm saying but but that front wheel will come up on you bro just from strictly throttle not even lean in the bike you know if you're just ripping the throttle down the start straight that front wheel will come up on you which i thought was pretty cool uh it's like they're getting it to a point where it kind of feels like your eli tomac on the bike or some shit you know what i mean uh, where it really feels like it, even sometimes when I'm not trying to just get on the gas real hard, it'll kind of spook me a little bit like, whoa, shit, my front wheel come up on me a little bit. You know, you definitely want to be leaning forward on the bike when you're really on the power coming out of the corners, just to kind of keep the balance on the bike to really hit that jump fit, the bigger jump faces properly. Um, but yeah, that was cool to see that. Like I said, I don't know exactly when they added it, but the, the ability to be able to actually select how much terrain deformation, the level of it on the track before you get on it, basically like what they did with MX First ATV Legends. Now they just give you an option, um, and that's cool because now you can come in here on MX Bikes. If you want to, you can just turn the terrain deformation completely off. If you're really just trying to like learn some jumps on a track or you're trying to hit something real specific and you're not really wanting the terrain deformation to affect you any you can go in there and select that option you know what i'm saying so that's really cool to see that actually in the game like mx simulator you have to go in the into the uh uh basically like the properties of the game and all that to select the actual terrain deformation level but with mx bikes they finally have given you that option to um go in there and actually select it inside of the game okay so that was a cool change to see Br boys i'm just trying to get caught up on this game i don't even know what the hell's going on i'm just gonna keep it 100 with you <laughs> you know spency boy truthful as always um yeah a game feels fun man i mean you know it's kind of got that spunk back to it a little bit I i'll say that um the bikes kind of have that, especially with the, the uh, Beta 18 OEM bike specifically, kind of the 450s kind of feel like they got that spunk back a little bit, you know, like I'm saying, you can pick up your front wheel without even trying, um, feels like you can, you know, it's still no cakewalk to get across the jumps on the 2022 Oakland track. You still got to know what you're doing, but you can at least do it, <laughs> whereas I feel like the way the game was like before beta 18 after they made all those changes it made the game harder it was almost impossible i mean it was like oh my gosh you, you literally couldn't even get around the track so it seems like with beta 18 and the beta 18 oem bikes it's sort of balanced everything out a little bit more it's kind of what it feels like to me 